so i mean just to begin with the sustainability in tourism the entire ecosystem is so big there are so many stakeholders so i'll just pick and choose the ones that are the closest to me that i've spent around 3 to 4 years now working with that is travelers and how do we go about communicating sustainability to them or the idea of sustainability when was the last time that um perhaps you know you you, you decided to go for a cafe based on their esg reporting or or maybe you know a sustainability certification score it never happens that way is right yeah. Yeah. it is important from that perspective to have you know your certain operations to be regulated in a way that their impact is neutral if not positive but then the idea of communicating it to a set a, a specific set of segment is one of the biggest challenges that is happening right now i mean what people are expecting is tourism typically enjoys economy of scales imagine taj mahal right thousands and millions of people go and visit it and similar is the expectation with this new niche of new niche i would say because it's it's still at its initial phases sustainability although this is how the default tourism should be but still you know we are in this transition phase i certainly believe um there's this big challenge that hotels might need to incur a lot of cost in order to gain all these customers so from the demand side it might be you know the supply side there might be a lot of efforts but but then coming from the demand side the travelers the customers they won't come in numbers and that's the harsh reality the reason being even if they're aware they do not take necessary actions and a lot of psychological factors are there behind this particular phenomenon to quote one which was explained very nicely through the theory of planned behavior that's deep rooted in academia or the cognitive dissonance for example i know smoking cigarette is bad still i smoke one right on a two every day i know sustainability is good but still i won't go for the sustainable option or that's not the only choice that i go for right uh, when when choosing a restaurant or a hotel so when that is uh, placed into you know the core of hotels or tourism industry and their operations to be 100% sustainable they going whole heartedly for certifications and not receiving the exact return on investment is one of the biggest challenges now how do we do that is investigating what actually would trigger travelers to perform that action and that's where i feel technology comes in as a great opportunity for for not just you know at the traveler end but also from policy making and that means the government or the dmos but also for businesses right technology can i i i have got great faith in that that it it is that enabler that can bridge this gap i can give you fine examples as we proceed ahead but from this academia perspective and embedding it with this education perspective too um i i strongly believe a collaborative approach is required academia is all about you know going super deep into a pinpoint specific thing rails the world is changing at a rapid pace it's pretty dynamic so in order to keep up with the pace a nice collaboration between industry and academia academia is known for you know its hard set rules and standards even if you know that are not being followed but still great findings are being proceeded out because academia has the time bandwidth to really go deep dive into a particular phenomenon so if you know having this into a real time industry problem solving it through the uh, the through the bandwidth that academia has i think is a great opportunity here so that's that's how i feel that